Hello, how are you? I hope you're good. 2019 is almost at the end. Thank God. <laughs> it's a video I wanted to do for a couple of years now, but I just never really got to it and I finally kind of did. If you can hear construction outside, I'm sorry. It's just my life recently, so hopefully it's not too distracting. I went through all, of, maybe majority of the pass boxes that I've gotten in 2019 and I picked my favorite items from them. And I thought I'm gonna show you what I picked from each box and um, what my top three items are. Now, I was really picky and I only pick things that I really, really love with all of my heart because there's a lot of stuff in the boxes that I really liked, but I wanted to be extremely picky and only pick like the top, top things that I really, really, really loved um, from the boxes. Um, I have a mixture of bookish and Harry Potter and one paper subscription box. Let's start with the bookish boxes I think, just for no particular reason. So we have Book Box Club, a UK subscription box. I've been with them since 2016, so I really love them dearly. Um, my top kind of three items from them in 2019 were, well four actually, one is no longer with us because I consumed it straight away. And it was delicious! <laughs> I'm just gonna put a picture here. It was their um, pretzels, like custom pretzels, but oh my god, I've never tasted a pretzel that was so delicious, so I had to include it. I know it's silly, but you know what? My heart loves what it loves, and pretzels apparently is one of those things. The next item I have is this Quidditch World Cup ticket iron-on patch. I still obviously have not ironed it on anything, but I absolutely Love the idea of it. I, I just really like it. Another thing was the these stickers. Now, usually I'm not the biggest fan of stickers just because it doesn't really match my style. I don't know what to do with them. Um, but this is really cool because this will fit into my bullet journal when it's not like winter time so, so well. And I really cannot wait to use them. I just like how they look like. And I really, I just, I don't know. I love everything about them. So they had to be included here. And I think very unexpectedly, my favorite item from Book Box Club 2019 is this. I had gone and used it the whole year. I'm just really impressed by how it held up. It's a really durable, like obviously this is super packed with all of the pens and stuff. Um, but this is like a pencil case, but it's a really, really good size. It's the only one that I have in the size that fits like um, things like stencils that I have, like sheets and stuff that I also use here and it's just a perfect size for all the miscellaneous stuff that I have. Like this is not necessarily like a on hand bag but it just held up so well and it obviously has like a books and I, I don't know, I just, I really enjoyed it. Okay, moving on to Owl Crate. Now, from Owl Crate, I have a couple of things from Owl Crate that I dearly, dearly love and their Harry Potter mugs by Kara Kozik has to be all, like, obviously I had to include them. Um, this one is the most recent one, this one is the fourth one, and I do think that the next one comes out in January, so I'm super pumped for it. Um, I still am missing the first one, which really breaks my heart, and I miss their, like, restock of them, so it's so sad, but I'm, 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 I'm adamant to get that at some point from somewhere, I don't know. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll get there though, but this is the fourth one. I have the other two, um, I just, I just had this one readily available, so I'm showing it here as a representative. So this one would be really close to the favorite item as well. I don't know, maybe it should happen. I don't know. You know, sometimes when you have a lot of things that you really love, it's very hard to see which one you love the most. Um, which is probably why so many YA characters struggle with like love triangles, right? Another item I love a lot is uh, this umbrella. Again, actually Harry Potter themed, <laughs> but it's, I think it would be like my favorite regardless of what theme it would be, but this is Harry Potter themed. Um, it has like all of the kind of forbidden forest type of things. It has to be a favorite because I love a practical item in a box and this has gone with me pretty much everywhere I go. I have this with me and I whip it out often because I live in Scotland and it rains oh so often. So. Um, I had to include it here because I just got so much out of it and I, I love having a bookish umbrella with me at all times, like, I don't know, 
what's not to love? Next up, there are a couple of pens from Owl Creek that I really love. I actually have been loving their pens a lot this year. They introduced, I think it was this year that they introduced the monthly pen as well. Um, and I really love it. My two standout favorites, I think, have to be these two. I think they're most recent. By the way, I'm excluding December boxes. I probably should have mentioned, but I'm excluding December boxes because um, they haven't arrived yet. <laughs> but So I'm kind of just doing all year minus December, but um, I wanted to get this out for you before the year ends and it just made sense. So this I think was in November and October, those kind of followed each other and they have a very similar kind of, I suppose a bit more gothic-y vibe and I just really love it. So it's this one and that one, I'll do obviously a close-up for you guys. And then actually my favorite item I think is this actual banner because the banner is from Owl Great and I just, I love a black banner. I love it. I love the design around it, like the the frame, I just, I did put a head girl pin where the Owl Crate like logo kind of is, just because I'm not a biggest fan of branding on the actual item where you can really see it super easily. Like it's just not my favorite thing. But even then I just, I just really love this banner. It allows me to display other awesome pins on them. Yeah, big, big fan, big, big fan of that. And then we have fairy loot. I went back and forth whether to include the fairy loot here or not. I decided to do so because I felt like it would just be wrong to exclude it. <laughs> I don't know, I, it just would feel wrong because I've been with fairy loot, same as Owl Crate and Book Box Club since 2016, but I have started to work for fairy loot my, as my day job in 2018, in 2018? I had a glitch there in my mind. Some of these items kind of initiated by me, so I would want to create something that I would personally want to see in a box, so obviously then I will love it because, you know, I'm just gonna go with it because I just really want to show you what particular items I just loved the most. I had to include it because it's been a part of my life for so long. First of all is this little handy, if it's not Baroque, don't fix it. Trinket tray. I love this one because of its size is just perfect for my SD cards. <laughs> I know it sounds dumb, but I really, really needed a place for my SD cards to live when they're not in my cameras. I have three SD cards. I really am paranoid of losing them and I really need them to be somewhere safe. And the fact that it's black and gold, like, hello, have you seen me this year? I'm obsessed with black and gold. Then I have a Harry Potter item, Faint Shock. <laughs> um, and this one is the Harry Potter pin of Diagon Alley. I pin? What? No, Diagon Alley necklace. Um, I, I really love it. it. Weasley is like a hat building, it has Gringotts and a dragon on it, and it has Ollivanders, and I feel like I don't need to say anything else here. Uh, a little mention for the pin that I think, very surprisingly, one from the pins, I tried to only include one pin from Fairy Loot, um, and it has to be this tiny bat. I don't know why, there are so many other pins that I absolutely loved, but this tiny bat pin, it just won my heart. It's just so tiny. It's just so cute, I can't get over it, and it was actually on my jacket, I had to take it off for this video, but it speaks to my soul. Practical and also so shiny. Um, this is the cutlery set, and it has quotes engraved from the Lunar Chronicles. I haven't read the series, so I'm not like in the fandom, but it is a sci-fi thingy, and I love, I use, they pretty. Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> As I said, big, big fan of a practical item. Another super hard thing for me to do was to narrow down to my favorite book sleeve from Fairy Loot. Pick the Dracula one. I think I just really lean towards the darker kind of bit more gothic -y designs. I look at it, I know it's Dracula, but it reminds me of Castlevania and I absolutely love the show and if you haven't seen it, would highly recommend it's on Netflix. And again, has cute little bats has a zipper on top, which is a massive plus for me. Even though, like, I do love the books, the book sleeves that do not have the zipper, to me, like, I like to protect all the ends of the book, and I just really like it. We have the metal bookmark from Mistborn. Um, I'm very, very proud of the metal bookmarks, and the fact that it's Mistborn and it has all of the um, Alamancy, well, not all of them, but, like, some of the Alamancy symbols cut out, and it has win, and it has... Um, the quote and it's Mistborn and I don't have a lot. Actually, this is the only Mistborn merge that I have. So I love everything about it. There we go. And then the last item. Honestly, if you see me anywhere recently after I got this box and this item, I will most likely either be carrying this on my shoulder or have it in my bag. Not even most likely, like almost like 100%. Um, and it's this tote bag. I 
love it so much. It's a witchy themed one. It has all of the your like stereotypical kind of witchy um, symbols, but it's in like this playful pink and purple, but on black. It doesn't look too girly. It's not too obvious what it is until you look at it. It's this really thick material, really heavy duty. Literally, even now, I have like a bunch of receipts in it because I just carry it all the bloody time. Just a big fan. A big, big fan of this one. Again, practical item. Can you sense a theme? <laughs> and the last one I want to mention is uh, an item from Unplugged. I only had a couple of boxes from Unplugged, so there's only one, well, technically two items that I picked because, again, I'm being super picky. Um, and uh, the other boxes, I got all of them from the whole year, so I had more to, like, pick from. I, I had to include these little wine glasses. Um, this, this one is exceptionally ordinary with, like, Luna ones. Like, it's a very recent addition, but the other one was um, when it out go to the library, which is obviously obviously for Hermione and I love them both. I don't really drink. Um, often I pretty much drank like maybe three times this year. I use them for orange juice because I can't, it's fine that I can't have too much orange juice but that kind of amount is just perfect so I really love the glasses for that and obviously the Harry Potter theme so you know helps. <laughs> so, speaking of Harry Potter, let's move on to the Harry Potter boxes. So let me start with Azkabox or um, the wizarding trunk. Now now it's called the wizarding trunk. So I have a couple of items from them. Again, I usually like most of the items from Harry Potter because it just like, it's Harry Potter. It's like very, very hard for me not to like it. But again, I was very picky. Like, one of them I was actually using just now. So there's a little bit of a Coke showing <laughs> um, on the edges. But this one is from the actual first box. This one says Nitwit, Blubber, Oddment, and Tweak, which is like the nonsense that Dumbledore spoke in the very first book, which I love. Um, I was a bit worried because it feels kind of rubbery, so I was a bit worried that it's gonna wash off, but it's stayed on pretty well. So this was their first mug, and I just really like it for the actual, like, what it says. But then they had another mug that was really, really nice and just in better quality, better print, better, like, staying power, and more interesting shape, which I really like um and this one is my dear you have the grim and then the grim on the other side i will have a more favorite one soon to show you about the with the grim but i do really enjoy this it has this like a matte finish on the outside as well which i just really really like and i i love the size i love myself a big mug i usually drink from big mugs i don't even like mess with the small ones <laughs> then we had this mandrake and it's in the actual kind of like a how do you call this pot? Clay pot? Um, and it's just really substantial and it's, um, I think, uh, I much prefer this to the one that we got in Geek Gear. It technically is supposed to smell of coffee, but I think that it has gone by now. But um, I just really like it. The like It just looks like a grumpy baby. <laughs> it has the labels here and I just really enjoy it. It just it's such a cute little prom to have on your shelves as well. My favorite item from them is actually, well, I thought about the mugs, but I actually went with this little potion replica of Gillyweed. I really enjoy how this Gillyweed is made. I feel like it's such a high quality replica of Gillyweed. This is exactly how I would kind of imagine it. Um, it looks like actual seaweed inside, like it has some pebbles. It has this beautiful green, like I'm picky about my greens, but this green is just so stunning. And um, I'm usually not the biggest fan of their labels, but this one just like fits in really well. I just very, very big fan of this Gillyweed replica. Then we have Geek Gear. So I have a couple of things from Geek Gear. I was again super picky. <laughs> you might have seen this quite recently in my vlog when I unboxed the box and I wasn't sure what this is, but now that I know this is McGonagall's brooch, I am in love with it. I love that they even included and thought about it. It's such a fun brooch and it's so beautiful. I just love everything about it. I don't know where, how to wear it yet, but I will find a way. And if not anything, I'll just pin it, you know, but it's, it's so beautiful. Love that they included that. Then we have this little replica of the golden egg. The golden egg is one of my most coveted replicas out there. Um, I still haven't purchased it for myself, like the big one. I still kind of holding on, on to the hope that they will make one that actually opens because the one that they have currently does not. And I just feel like, oh, I like make one that opens and it could make, could be like a dim light or something. Like I'm sure it's not that hard for them to figure out how to do it. Until then, I have this little replica and it's like a plastic one, but it's really beautiful. I really like having it because I just love the golden egg in general as an item. Um, and again, I want the big one someday. I probably will just get one at some point that does not open, but you know what? 
one can hope. Maybe I'll upgrade it when they do make it. <laughs> then I have an item from Cherry's Box, which I just love so much. These gloves, but I absolutely love them. They're so fun. Um, my like style is not necessarily fun and colorful when I go outside and stuff. Like I'm pretty much like neutrals and blacks kind of girl or like occasionally like a green <laughs> but so these don't really fit my styles per se but like I love them I love them so much and I already wore them a couple of times and I just it's 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 so cute it's supposed to be like Weasley sweaters but then gloves how how are you not gonna love that then another item that I really loved from them was this liquid luck vial mainly for the shape of the vial I just feel like this is way closer to how I wanted the potion to be compared to some other replicas that I had. The only thing was that it came with this like loose glitter that was here, but you know what? I filled it up with water and then I shook it and the glitter just like adhered to glass everywhere. And now I just feel like this is a great little potion vial and it's one of my favorites. And then the last thing and I think my favorite thing is actually their wands in general. I've been really loving their wands this year. I think that they have improved so much from uh, their previous ones but I have two mentions. Um, so first of all is this skeleton wand. I don't know every time I see it I laugh. It's just funny to me. Me and Logan just have such a good laugh. <laughs> like look at this wand and whenever I see it and you know what I'll take anything that makes me laugh recently so I just love it I love it so much and they actually feel so good they, they feel like really hefty I just really like them and another one of my favorite is this snake one I just love how seamlessly it goes into the wand and just the detail I just love how it just ends in a snake's head I I love it I love it I might be a Slytherin, I don't know. So um, the next stop is the newest addition to my Harry Potter boxes, which I actually am really enjoying so far, and I'm really looking forward to see what they do next year if they continue on. Um, and that would be cauldron crates. So um, one of the items, I only had one box from them, and then I also have the cauldron crate like advent calendar that I'm opening in my vlogs, but because that's kind of a December item, I'm not including it here. Um, but these, two like Asian, po Asian potions for George and Fred with this amazing kind of like magical effect. It's so beautiful. I love them so much. One of my favorite potions. The favorite potion? I don't know. I've never seen a replica of them either. So it's just really, really cool. Now my favorite item from them is a bit of a cheat because it was technically in their box. It was just not in a box that I got. <laughs> so it was before I was kind of aware of them. But thankfully they put that up as a separate item in their shop. So I got my hands on it. So technically it's not of a box that I got, but it was in the box and I did get it, you know? So we'll count it because I have to mention this. So we have a plate, like a saucer. It says, my dear, you have the Grimm on here. And then we have the actual mug. And instead of how the other mug had it on the side, this one actually has it inside and it's the Grimm. And I love it. Like what's not to love? I actually just displayed this on my shelves and I haven't used it yet, but I, I think I will. I really like it. I probably still would like to get like the replicas from the movie, like the ones that look like um, red and, well, it's supposed to be pink and blue, I think, or red and blue. But um, I do really like that one. I'm very, very happy with it. So that one's my favorite from there. So, and then last but definitely not least, we have Lip Joy. I, again, only had one of their boxes previously and oh my God, I fell so in love with it. And I really cannot wait for this. 7.1 box to arrive which I think is shipping currently so I'm so happy oh my god um just really really excited about it and there were so many amazing items in that one it was literally like every item was amazing so but I did pick two favorites um and very surprisingly for me it's this print of Dumbledore I just I should have shown you this last because I think it's my favorite from I just can't everything about this is perfect this is Dumbledore I had in my mind like get out of my brain <laughs> what is happening I 100% want to frame this at some point when I have my own place maybe hopefully sometime in the future um it, I love it so much and then the second item is this wooden bookmark but um it is by one of my favorite artists ever is Nan Fei. um Unbreakable Vow on one side and Bellatrix on the other and it's just stunning 
And then because I got Paper Gang for the majority of the year as well, I thought I'll mention a couple of items that I really love from them. One of them is this notebook. There was another one that was also similar style and I really love it. And I use it for my, um, my own shop ideas. So it's really like dear to me i really love it and then another thing is they're like funky scissors i have done another pair of scissors that i use constantly it's also from them i also misplace scissors constantly so it's good to have a couple but such like funky style i just really i really enjoy it. and i think that is everything for the items and um it's really really hard to choose top three it honestly really is i know that the tote bag would be in the top three because i just use it every single day I think I would also have to put the Dumbledore print in here. It's just like it does things to me. Like I look at it, it makes me all emotional. <sighs> I don't know, it might just be me, but just this print is like it makes me so emotional. I can't. And I think another one has to be the the mugs, the Harry Potter mugs that I will create do because I love mugs and I love Harry Potter. It's pretty simple and like it's beautiful art as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different, but I would love to hear what your favorite item is if you got in any boxes. And also if not, what is your favorite item out of my favorite items? Um, let me know down below. I don't know if this video is entirely irrelevant or not, but I thought it would be fun to, to me to have this to reflect later on as well. So I made it. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching. Stay awesome, stay kind, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.